Okay guys, so today's video has been in the works for the past several months now and I wanted to find out what tasks on the iPhone could impact the battery health of my device the most. Now you guys always ask, what do I do on my iPhone in order to prevent the battery health from going down quicker than it should? So I set out to find out which task would impact the battery health in a negative way the most and I wanted to share those findings with you guys. So let's just dive right into this video. Now as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Okay, so first I want to talk about some of the most common things, right? The common sense stuff. So for example, you don't want to use your iPhone while you have it plugged in to charge at the same time. So for example, if you like to play video games on your iPhone for more than an hour straight, you don't wanna go ahead and plug your iPhone and charge it while you play for that entire hour plus, right? Because this is going to create stress on the battery, consuming the battery with the video game and at the same time charging the battery, of course will impact the battery health on your iPhone in a negative way. So don't use your iPhone, especially when playing video games for a long extended period of time. This is common sense stuff. Now another thing of course is you wanna keep your iPhone away from any heat. So for example, if you travel a lot and you leave your iPhone in your car for long hours and you're not in the car, you don't want to do that because inside the car it can get very hot and heat is the number one enemy for battery health. And of course you want to preserve that battery health the longest possible in order to not have to spend money on a new battery of course and to retain performance on your device. So number one enemy for battery health is definitely heat. So don't leave it under direct sunlight outside in the sun or in a car for an extended period of time if you're not in there it could impact the battery in a negative way and these are just common sense things right I noticed that this does impact the battery health in a negative way however I did assign several tasks to these devices over the past several months that are normal tasks that you wouldn't think would actually impact the battery health in a negative way but actually did so let me share those findings with you guys now before we continue I wanted to share a quick word from our sponsors K school K school is the official K sponsor for the channel you might have seen these cases laying around the studio they come in various color including clear black clear gold as you can see right here and they look very very nice one of my favorites is the matte black one right here the full black one this is the magic stand on the back which allows you to prop your iPhone it protects your device it's camera module as you can see right there the camera actually overlaps the module protecting the camera from being scratched or anything like that same thing with the screen it overlaps the screen to protect the screen as well and one of the things I love the most is that the magic stand is magnetic as well so MagSafe compatible as well which actually makes MagSafe a little stronger than it normally is without the case so I really love that as well it does not interrupt the MagSafe experience as well so you can find out more about case cool links will be in the description and you can use my promo code if you would like to get one for yourself for an additional 10% off so thank you to case cool for sponsoring today's video okay so out of all the devices we've tested over the past month and a half or so these these two saw the worst impact to battery health and that's because each iPhone had its own task and let me share with you guys my findings on which task actually impacted the battery health the most. Well this iPhone was assigned to stream movies and TV shows to an Apple TV for maybe an hour and a half or two every single day. So while I was watching movies and TV shows it was plugged into a power source and this had a negative impact on the battery health. Now the reason I plugged in the iPhone is of course I didn't want it to die halfway through the movie or the TV show but this iPhone started started with a 94 battery health I believe it was and now it's at 88 so anywhere from 6 to 8 percent of battery health was lost in about a month and a half or two just by performing that single task over an hour and a half or so so if you'd like to watch movies and TV shows and stream them from your iPhone to an Apple TV then you want to make sure that you don't plug it to a power source make sure you plug in your iPhone first just set it at hundred percent and then stream the movie and TV show don't watch the movies and TV shows while you plug it into charge because we did see about a 6% to an 8% decrease in battery health in less than two months that's kind of unreal while just performing this single task now the worst thing you can do that we found was actually on this iPhone 13 Pro now this iPhone 13 Pro I used it for FaceTiming pretty much Monday through Friday for over an hour sessions every single day from Monday through Friday for the last month and a half or two. Now we saw the worst battery health impact while FaceTiming and plugging the iPhone into charge. Now you might be asking yourself, why are you FaceTiming for an hour plus Monday through Friday? Well, I like to do online gaming. So I do a lot of online gaming in the afternoons. I call my brother over FaceTime. 
so we can kind of chat. I keep my iPhone plugged into a power source while FaceTiming, and I noticed that this device saw the most impact in battery health while FaceTiming and plugging into a power source. So if you like to FaceTime for hours on end every single day, don't have your iPhone plugged into a power source. This is definitely a battery health killer. This iPhone started with 100 battery health percentage and now is at 92. So we saw like about an 8% decrease in battery health over the past month and a half or so. So yeah, FaceTiming while connecting to a power source, if you do it for a long extended period of time, I've realized and I've noticed that does impact the battery health in a negative way majorly. So these two devices saw the most impact. And of course I do FaceTime on my primary device throughout the day, but it's brief, it's not as consistent as in this device. But these two saw the most impact with these two actual tasks. Now, one thing you can also do is download the Apple support application here and make sure you find your device on the list. And you can also run a diagnostics on your battery. So you go ahead and download the app, enter your Apple ID, select your device, click on more right here and then go to battery life and you can actually run a check on your battery health of your device apple will give you some suggestions here of things you can do in order to improve the battery health of your device as well as you can see right here and of course i'll link this in the description down below thank you for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace